Okay. Uh, sorry that I'm not here in class. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. We're going to make a foldable. This is going to help you with your linear transformations. Please make sure that you are um, that you are following along, that you're getting all the information written down, because you will, you will be able to use this foldable on your test on Wednesday. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to cut around the edges of your foldable, fold along the edges um, to the middle, and then cut along the dotted lines so that you have 10 tabs that open up. Um, you can grab a foldable off the front table as well as a couple of colored pencils. You might want them uh, as for, the, um, for this part. You can pause here while you cut and then um, unpause it when you're ready to move on to the next slide. We're going to start with the uh, with vertical shift up. These are your translations. So vertical shift up. What happens here is that you are the graph of the function is shifted two units up, or it's shifted up. Okay, so you can leave that part blank, or you can put a number in there such as two to show that you're shifting it up. The number is going to be on the outside. That's how you're going to know that it is shifted up. So it'll be f of x plus a number such as two. So looking at the graph, we have f of x plus 2. If we, if we take this graph and we move it up 2, what you're going to see is that it goes from here to here. It moves 2 units up. All right. For vertical shift down, you're doing the same thing, but this time instead of it being shifted up, it's going to be shifted down a certain amount of units. For example, it will be shifted down three units in our example. The rule for this would be f of x minus a number, f of x minus three. So we take our graph and we shift it three units down. Every point gets shifted three units down. That would be a vertical shift down. For horizontal shift right, you're moving, you're shifting the graph of the function shifted right x amount of units, so for example, 4 units. The rule for this would be x minus 4. Remember that 4 horizontal shifts to the right is actually the opposite. So we take all of our points and we move them to the right. So I could move this one to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I take this point. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we graph them and we see that it has shifted to the right. horizontal shifts to the left. The graph of the function has shifted to the left one unit. The rule for that would be uh, f of x minus negative 1, which would change to f of x plus 1. That would be the rule that we count there. Uh, and so when we're shifting this to the left, you take each of your points and you move them to the left, in this case, once. And we can see that our graph moved to the left. For reflections across the x-axis, this is when the graph is reflected over the x-axis and the x-intercept stays the same. The rule for this would be negative f of x. The negative is left on the outside. So the x-intercept stays the same and everything else changes. We see that our y-intercept changes, but our x-intercept is going to stay the same. And the slope is the opposite. So remember that with this, the x-intercept stays the same, while the slope is the opposite. For reflections across the y-axis, the graph is reflected over the y-axis, and your y-intercept stays the same. This would be f of negative x, and remember that the y-intercept will stay the same, and the slope will become the opposite. So here our slope is 1, and our new slope will be negative 1. For horizontal stretches, remember that stretching or compressing is uh, is on, along the x-axis. A horizontal stretch is stretching the graph towards uh, the x-axis. So you're stretching it towards the x-axis. It's going to get flatter. The rule for this would be uh, one half or one third or one fourth. It'd be a fraction times x. That number that would be there would be between zero and one. So you take your graph, so we have f of x plus 2, and you actually have to 
Um, you're actually going to have to change the equation for this one. So we have f of x equals x plus 2. We have our new equation, which is f of 1 half x. And so you evaluate this for x being 1 half. So you replace x with 1 half x plus 2. So we see that the y-intercept stays the same here, and our slope goes from being 1 to 1 half. For horizontal compressions, this is when the graph is getting compressed towards the y-axis, it's getting steeper. The rule for this one would be y equals 2, or a whole number, times x. This would be a number that's greater than 1. So again, we're going to change the equation. So we have f of x equals uh, x plus 2. We have f of 2 x. So this wants us to evaluate this for x being 2x. And then we graph our new equation. So we start at 2. So the same line of step, but now my slope is steep. Then we have vertical stretches. Vertical stretches are when our when we're stretching the graph towards the y-axis, so it's going to get steeper. The rule for this is the number is now on the outside, so a number that is greater than 1, such as 3, times the function of x. Again, to graph this one, we need to start off with our function, which is f of x is x plus 2. And now we have 3 times f of x, or what you'll actually see is just 3 f of x, which is the same thing as 3 times. And this wants us to multiply our entire function, so that entire x plus 2 by 3, which would give you 3x plus 6. So our y-intercept changes to 6, our slope changes to 3, so I can't go up, but I can go down to the left. And that would be your new equation there. And for vertical compressions, this is when you are compressing the graph towards the x-axis. It's going to get flatter. You have a fractional amount times f of x. The number is, again, on the outside. It will be a number between 0 and 1. So you want to start with your function, with x plus 2. And we have 1 third f of x. And again, that wants us to take 1 third and multiply it to the entire function. So we have one-third x plus two-thirds. So I would start my graph at two-thirds, and then I would go up a third, and or up one, and right three, or down one and left three. And what we see is that our graph is getting uh, steeper, or less steep. Okay. Again, this foldable you'll be able to use on your test on Wednesday. Uh, make sure that you study, that you're doing the study guide, and that you are prepared for your test uh, on Wednesday. You may now work on the study guide the remainder of the period.